Hello there, peace. Celine here, and welcome back to Gina Saga episode three. And if anyone's wondering, yes, this is still my work day, or this will be posted on my work day, and I'll be 35, if anyone's wondering. Yes, 35, and I still look young, and I'm still playing games like this. I don't care. But, uh, yeah. Also, peeps, the next game after this one will be Final Fantasy, to uh, Final Fantasy X, the remake version. Uh, the reason being is because my mom actually wants me to do that game. Since no one actually gives me their opinion on what game I should do next, I asked my mom and she said, uh, Final Fantasy X. It's like, okay. Cause she, uh, she's a fan of Final Fantasy X. Cause I gave her the same option I gave you guys. Sorry, every time there's a level up situation, I have to pause. Engaging with maximum output.
I know I need to save it up for, uh, for, um, X-Buster. But, that's the boss battle, I think. They are a boss battle, right? Well, for, yeah. In this one, they are a boss battle. Give me all that for that attacks me. Okay, let's heal up. Okay. Do this again. Uh, I think Momo needs the health update. We still got a long way. The hell's our uh, thing going? Got the coder, but haven't found that. We found that, but no decoder. Got that. I can go back to that one. They've already attacked. No. Cosmos, can you detect Xion? I detect life signs inside the room. One matches those of Xion. In addition, there are three realians of an unidentified type.
Yeah, I had to shut up and turn the sound up when Jen start or when uh, Ziggy talked because I knew that cutscene was going to happen. Okay, the first thing we need to do is this one. At this point in the game, you should have at least one or two mastered already. I mean, at this point, you should at least have one or two done uh, in your skill point. And then for Shion, she needs to summon that thing. Dang, that did. And then this one. You should at least have this, this one, or this one. And there you go. Fireball 3. Ooh. Make a large refresh. I'm gonna have to turn the sound back up because cutscene's gonna continue. Stay calm. Don't let it overpower you. Jin, what is going on? It's a... This is a dream, right? I called... I called the Gnosis. I made them appear, didn't I? This is... Some kind of terrible mistake, right?
hell's going on? That didn't happen 15 years ago. What we're seeing is not the past. This is a reality that didn't exist. Abel's Ark. That thing that appeared at Milsha a year ago? But why appear here now? That's why they brought Xion here. This world isn't the world of the past. It's a reality constructed inside of Xion's mind. By temporarily restoring the consciousness of people from the past, they're using Xion to correct in the present what they were unable to accomplish in the past. Yes. Everything was supposed to begin here. But in order to awaken Abel, the resonance of the power between them was necessary. The Gnosis that attacked Milsha in the past did not arrive because of Mizrahi, nor Albedo's link to Udu. No. They were called by Xion when she was a child. Who designed Cosmos? Yes, but why? He was Xion's boyfriend? But that's a testament! K Kevin! Is it really you? Yes, it's me. What's wrong? Have you forgotten my face? No, I haven't forgotten. I've never once forgotten. But why are you... I've come for you, Xi'an. Kevin, tell me. Why did you hide yourself all this time? Why are you a testament? I needed power. That is why I took this form. But what I look like is not important. It's still me. Nothing has changed. But the Kevin in this time, he sacrificed all those people. All those realians to research the Zohar. Even my mother. I had no choice. I'm sorry I made you suffer. But you must understand that it was all done for you. For me? This? Are you saying all of this was for me? It was all for you. I was always thinking about you. Come with me. I need you, Xion. Kevin! Who the hell do you think you are? You've got no right to come here and open up her wounds! And you're saying it's all for her benefit? Silence! This is none of your concern! It sure as hell is my concern! Don't you understand? None of you can save Xion. What do you mean? I hope you can explain yourself. Jean Uzuki. I'm sure you've already realized what's happening to Xion's body. <gasps> That's right. She's suffering from the same illness as her mother. <gasps> Xion. You have an ability that others lack. 
but that power will eventually cost you your life. That's the reason for your recent headaches. I have the same illness as Mom? If you know that much, then naturally you must know the cause as well. While differing somewhat in the strength of their power, the test subjects assembled in this facility all possess the same ability as Shion. The subjects are capable of communicating with Udu. They can convey their will to Udu. Communicating with Udu? Yes, but that leads to their own death. The test subject's wills are unable to stand the stress of direct contact with Udu. And they eventually fall into a coma and die. Then why didn't you make them stop the experiments? If you cut off the contact with Udu, wouldn't their illness stop? You don't have to force them to talk with Udu! You can't! can't cut off contact with Udu. He's watching us from another realm. You can't run away from him. Udu chooses to make contact? Are you saying those waves have a will? Don't you see, Xi'an? I became a testament to save you. Without this form, without this power, I can't save you. I mean, she didn't recently, she recently just got this power. She hasn't been showing signs of having this ability ever since she was little. But then again, they have been testing, doing, running tests on her without her realizing it, so... There's that. The only ones that can save you are me and Telos. Bullcrap. Telos? Telos is gonna save the chief? Wait a minute. Then what the hell is Cosmos? You designed her too! Cosmos is just a prototype built to collect data for Telos. And to monitor shield. Cosmos is a prototype? Is that why you tried to dispose of her? Yes. Cosmos grew too close to Xi'an. The source of Cosmos's power comes from Udu by using the Zohar as a door. Every time Cosmos uses her abilities, Xion, who reacts to Udu, loses her life force. You wonder how uh, Cosmos feels about this. The closer Xion and Cosmos' wills come together, the greater the stress on Xion. Cosmos is shortening Chief's lifespan? You mean... Cosmos is going to kill me? Xi'an, I want you to come with me. If things progress as they have been, then you'll have no future. This is the only way to save you. Please listen, Xi'an. I don't want... I don't want to lose you again. Kevin... I... I understand. It's all right. I'm right here with you. Oh, Kevin. I'm happy. I'm so happy to see you again. I missed you so much. I thought that I'd never see you again. And yet, here you are. So I... 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 
promise you that I'll never leave you again. We'll always be together. Kevin! Oh, Jin! What are you doing? I don't understand. Xi'an, I apologize, but I cannot allow you to leave here with him. What he's telling you right now may seem plausible enough. However, I don't believe it. I don't believe that he can be trusted. Jin Uzuki. What are you saying, Jin? You've got to stop it! This is Kevin. He's the man I loved from the bottom of my heart. No, he isn't. He's not the same anymore. He is no longer a human. No! You're wrong! He's the same as he always was. He's the same man that I always knew. He's still my Kevin! Damn it! Tell me why. Why are you all interfering? Xion, get back! Cosmos, take Xion and run away! Cosmos, don't do it. Come to me. Bring Xion here. Cosmos! No, don't do it! Cosmos! Kevin Winnicott, I am very sorry, but unfortunately I am not programmed to follow your orders. Are you trying to defy your creator? The Cosmos that was created by you has been destroyed by Telos, sir. I have different designers, Xi'an Uzuki, and also Mr. Alan Ridgely. Impossible! Xi'an, we will leave now. No, Cosmo, stop! I don't want to go with you! I must apologize. Action was needed to avoid danger. You think you can run? Stop, Telos. There's no need to chase them. We'll have plenty of opportunities. Return now. Captain! It's Cosmos! She's headed this way on the bike! Are they alone? Stop the ship! We'll pick them up! Captain, I'm boarding the ship. Please maintain your current position. Don't do anything crazy. This ship is delicate. Scratch it and you're gonna pay for it. I will do my best. Cosmos and Xion are now on board. Captain, all of the others are still currently inside of Labyrinthos. Tony, can you handle it? Who do you think you're talking to? This is gonna be a piece of cake! We're not done yet. Mizrahi, what are you doing? Don't be stupid. If you do that, we may lose control of the Zohar. I know. This is the only way to stop this phenomenon. I must save the universe, even if it means destroying this planet. Are you crazy? Stop! You and the others are the ones who don't realize what you're doing. That thing is beyond human control. 
Are you upset because you failed to revive your daughter? Failed? It's true that I was unable to bring my daughter back to life. But a new potential was born. For that, I will. Stop! Mizrahi! Watch closely. This is how I take my responsibility. Mizrahi! Oh, he shot both his legs, so that makes that guy Im immortal. Or not immortal. Disabled. Okay, what I said, just in case you didn't hear me, is he shot both, that guy's both his legs, so the guy uh, cannot walk no more. That's why he's in a wheelchair in the future. Momo, I made a conscious decision to sacrifice this planet and its inhabitants to you. My sins will certainly never be forgiven. But if it means you will be born into a peaceful world, then so be it. I will gladly throw myself into the fires of hell. Hallelujah! And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast. They were cast into the lake of fire. And with it came about the second death. And whosoever not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of eternal fire! Sakura, I doubt I will go where you are. You will probably admonish me for that which I have done. Hmm? Who's there? Yuli, I'm sorry. Please take care of Momo. Please, take care of our child. This isn't good. The whole facility is about to collapse. Yes, you're right. Let's get out of here. What about Xion? Junior, look! It's the Elsa! Let's go! It appears that the First Awakening has gone smoothly. Yes. The remaining vessels of Anima will follow shortly. 
The vessels of anima are the body of God. Divided by the saint in ancient times to protect the universe from dissipation. We cannot allow the universe's failsafe to become active. We must control the body of God with our own hands. I understand. We shall return everything to the moment of beginning. Save the game? Freak you! But, uh, yeah! We beat a boss and shit load of cutscenes happen. But that's Shinna Saga for you. It's always been like that. And of course, as soon as we get off this, we may be on disc two. I'm not really sure because I don't remember when disc two actually starts. And there's ten chapters. Ugh. But my thoughts on that whole section. Uh, yeah. Old Motion was fake. The whole thing was fake. As Jim was saying. Or, yeah. I guess Jim was saying it. As they were saying, uh, old, that version of Old Milsha was fake. As I predicted, it was an alternate universe. I didn't think it was inside Xion's mind. So I didn't actually predict. I didn't actually realize that. And yes, I took off my nail polish, so I don't have nail polish on right now. That's what happens when I have nail polish on. I constantly fish shoot with it to the point I scratch it off and I haven't put it back on yet. But yeah. Shit is getting real. Uh. In the next episode, we are going to uh, go open some doors, like one or two doors, at least I think one or two, and we're going to try to fight the uh, hidden boss again. That's supposed to turn this game easy mode, because I'm going to need it towards the end. Uh, we also have access to the, to the side dungeon, so we're going to do that too. All the next uh episodes, next two parts. Which let me tell you now, I never actually did this hidden uh this side dungeon, so I don't know anything about the side dungeon. So it's gonna be all new for me. Cause when I was playing it, I didn't follow a let's play or a guide to it. I just went, literally, I just went straight. I didn't venture off or anything. I just went straight, got whatever chest I could at the time, and just went on. I didn't care about anything else. But for you guys, I'm going to try to at least get everything as much as possible. I'm probably not going to 100% it, but I'm going to at least try my damnedest, or my hardest, to do that. Or to do 100%. And you probably know this, but I will not 100% any of my Let's Plays. But I at least try. The keyword is try. But, uh, I believe that's everything. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!